the type of analysis that we that we performed uh, allowed us to identify potential pathways, potential mechanistic uh, pro processes that might be associated with MS progression or severity. The next step would be to take these individual pathways and processes and try to uh, generate, for example, cell culture models that would allow us to study details, the mechanistic details at the molecular level about many of these pathways. We are also in our lab working on cerebral organoids, which are basically uh, mini brains grew from um, pluripotent stem cells from MS patients. And um, the idea is to study the biology that we identified in these cerebral organ organoids because they uh, are a mixture of many different cell types so there are neurons, there are oligodendrocytes, there are micro microglia incorporated in these organoids. So they more resemble a human brain than just a plain uh, one type of cells plated on uh, on a on a petri dish that you would study, right? So uh, those are the mechanistic studies and more uh, immediate use for what we discovered in this study is that we basically. Uh, identify these pathways associated with MS progression. And ingenuity pathway analysis allows you uh, to generate a score associated with this pathway. So uh, judging based on this score, you can, you can differentiate people by the level of activation of these pathways. And what the other thing that ingenuity path analysis allows you is based on the knowledge accumulated by scientific community, uh, it identifies potential inhibitors of these pathways, potential drugs that you can use to inhibit these pathways. So the next step would be for us to uh, take some of these inhibitors and try them in MS patients in clinical trial to see if these drugs can reverse activation of these damaging pathways and if that reversal would subsequently lead to uh, decreased disability progression and uh, you know better outcome for for the patient